I am your host Tamseel Asif and today I welcome you all to our show Tears of Christian in Pakistan. And today we have a very honorable and respected guest evangelist Maria Yunus, General Secretary of CDS of Pakistan. So let's welcome our guest evangelist Maria Yunus. Hello Sister Maria, how are you? I am fine, thank you. What about you? I'm doing fine by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. So as you know that today we are here to talk about the incident happened in Jarawala Faisalabad, which is called as the Black Day of Christians. So I want to ask you, when you heard about this incident, how do you feel when you heard about all this happened with the Christians in Faisalabad? Okay. As you ask me, uh, how do you feel, you ask me, that um, it is not first time, you know, it is not first time. Many times it happened like that, uh, like uh, Shanti Nagar in Lahore, uh, Joseph Colony in uh, Kasur, and also recently also in uh, Islamabad. Many places, I can't explain because the many places are, uh, they are doing like that with the Christian people. And why, I, I ask uh, the question, why it is happening here only with the Christian people? Because every time, every day, it's a, uh, we hear the news, uh, the hair is attacking, the hair is attacking in the different place. Uh, that time is a very painful. And that day, uh, no only the burn the house, the burn the uh, holy church, they also steal everything. When I heard on 60th of uh, that day, I get shocked when I heard and uh, uh, really at that time, uh, uh, my eyes is full of tears. And I was so sad because when I heard all the Christian people are suffering in Jorawala and I think that is a very bad. That is a very bad thing which the, the Christian people are suffering because of uh, we are living in Pakistan, we are Pakistani and that is a not good. So ma'am, as you know that the Muslim mobs, they burn the settlements of the Christians. So how this incident affected their lives? That is a very good question uh, which uh, you ask me for the people, how they defect, how they feel uh, this thing about uh, the life. First they burn the house, they burn the, all the compound and uh, see early in the morning when they happen this one, uh, but we don't know, the people are sleeping the people are eating, we don't know what they are doing like them. The little children also, they are sleeping that time. When they heard that this thing has happened with them, and uh, I don't know how do they feel and how they uh, run away from the house, they left the house and where they hide themselves. Why, why they do like that? This is a question. They have not peace in their heart. We heard we are not there that time and we are feeling pain. We are crying in our house. The young girl and the small children, how they spend the night in this field, all the darkness, the mosquito, everything is there. And at that time, think about if we are there and how to spend the night in the field. Please, that is a very, very dangerous thing. Think about it. Why? Because we are Christian. That is not good. I agree with you and I can feel the pain right now because as you know that many people went there to meet the families. Yeah. And when we went there, as our channel went there mm -hmm. to meet the people, people were, were in fear. No one was talking about the incident. No one was talking how this all thing happened. They were just sitting there living like homeless people. So I want to ask you that how can we control this situation? Yeah. Because people are in fear now. How to control this thing? Since that day, the 16th of up to now, the people are living in with fear. And uh, that is a, I asking the question all the governments, please, uh, you should, if they do take the decision on the very first time, and uh, they will not happen again and again and again with the people. To did not take any decision. If you control the even the very first time of this thing, 
that it will not happen again. They are feeling homeless. They are feeling nobody is helping them because sure, you give everything, the build the house, the everything for eating, but in the fairness, which they do build in their heart, taking the girl, taking the family out of a house and asking, uh, you cannot accept this thing. This thing is, a, you should control themselves. Catch them, all the people, those who are doing this thing. Thank you. I agree with you that the government should take ac action. And if they take the action in the first when it happened years ago, when these all attacks started that, uh, in 1997, if they took the actions that time, I agree with you that this incident was not going to happen. The government must take action and give security and to the people living there and mm -hmm. give them peace and the fear must have to come out from their lives. Thank you so much for your kind opinion. So now as we are at the end of our show and I told our audience about you, that you are the General Secretary of CDS of Pakistan. So I want to ask you, what is the meaning of CDS and what role they are playing in Pakistan for the Christians? Yes, thank you very much. The CDS meaning is uh, the call to build the disciple for the people. We are preparing the people for teach the other Christians people. We have a Sunday school and the different place uh, above them 45 the more than sunday school and uh, also we are going to door to door and uh, also the different place and teach the people how to live because we are very peaceful people in the christian are all of us because our god he is peaceful and give you the message of love the god is love because we are full of love that's why we should love each other we give a peace to other that's why this our congregation, our ministry, uh, the cities of Pakistan and the discipleship, how to prepare the disciple as Jesus prepared the disciple and send a uh, different place to preach the gospel uh, like that in our ministry. And our uh, the president of uh, CTS of Pakistan, he's living in uh, Saival. His name is uh, Sajid Manu. He is a the president of uh, CDS of Pakistan, the director of Sunday school. I am running the Sunday school and teaching. The, I have a give my hundreds above the Sunday school's teacher with me. God bless you, ma'am, Maria. May God use you more for his work. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much for giving your time. Thank you very much, Tamsil Asif. And uh, thank you very much to all the National TV's news. Thank you all of the members and so nice of you and nice to meet you. Nice. Thank you very much. Hopefully we will come again and uh, and this program. Nice to meet you too. I want you all to remember our news channel, National News Nama and the Christians of Pakistan in your kind prayers because the persecution of the Christian cases are increasing day by day. This is not over yet. It is ongoing. So I want you all to remember the Christian community in your kind prayers. Please give your feedback of our show. God bless you all. See you next time.